what actually is GoDaddy? Well, if you ever wanted to go online and start your own website, build a blog, or create an e-commerce store, you definitely heard about GoDaddy. But what exactly is GoDaddy? What are they doing? Well, in today's video, I will go and show you everything you need to know about GoDaddy. I have been using them for multiple years, and I believe I can go and give you some specific insights. I will also go and show you ways how you get to go and save a lot of money, and everything is going to be done in simple terms, so you don't need any previous experience in order to understand this. Let's start with a little analogy. Think about GoDaddy as a landlord of the internet. If you want to go and live somewhere, you will go and rent an apartment, so you have a place to live. In the same terms, if you want to have your website online, it needs to have some space online when it can live. And this is where GoDaddy comes in. They're providing you with all of those tools on one single place. So you don't need to go across multiple places to go and buy everything separately. Now, this sounds amazing, but before I want to go and buy something, I need to know one very important thing. Is it actually a legit company or can they actually run away with my money? Well, let's take a look at it. GoDaddy is one of the oldest and most established companies in this space. They have been founded in 1997 and currently are the biggest domain registrar in the world, having tens of millions of domains under their belt. They are also a publicly traded company with valuation of around $25 billion, which is also forcing them to publish their finances online so we can see if they are or if they are not in financial troubles. Based on all of this data, I can confidently say that GoDaddy will definitely not run away with your money. They are a well-established company within this space and you will be in safe hands with them. But let's break down what they are actually offering and if it is actually worth it for complete beginners. They are not offering only one thing. You can go and buy multiple stuff in there, even separately or as a bulk option. So for example, you can go and buy some domains, you can go and do web hosting and additional business tools. This can be your custom emails, marketing tools, or even some e-commerce capabilities and e-commerce tools. Now, let's take a look at them one by one to see and fully understand what it actually is and if it is necessary. Firstly, let's take a look at domain registration. Now, what is domain, okay? Let's go back to our analogy. If we have the house, we also need a specific address so people can go and find us. And this is exactly how domain works as well. There are a specific name that can identify your website and people can get to it. Now, whenever you are choosing a domain registrar, there are a few things you want to go and keep in mind. The good part about GoDaddy is that they have a wide selection of top-level domains. The top-level domains are everything you will see after the dot. So the most popular one is definitely .com, but also .org, .net, .shop, and others. But also, if you are, for example, writing for a specific audience in a specific country, let's say UK, you can also go with regional top-level domains. So for UK audience, you will not go with .com, but you can also go with .co.uk. You can also buy multiple domains, to have the full brand identity under your belt. Two things can happen when you want to go and choose your domain. Firstly, you will need to go somewhere to go and find if it's actually available. I will link down in the description that you get to go and test it. It's completely for free. So inside here, you will go and see if I write something like Microsoft.com, this is already taken and I cannot have this domain. I can only go and buy the ones that are currently available. So I need to go and find something unique that nobody actually bought yet. If we see it, we can see that the exact match is available and we can go and purchase this domain. You can actually never fully purchase a domain. You have to go and rent it every single year. If you are interested in buying a domain with GoDaddy, I would highly recommend you to go and watch this video. This is a full breakdown of it. I went and actually bought a domain. I also share some tricks so that you are not going to fall for those upsells they are trying to force on you and you get to save a lot of money by watching this. If we are talking about pricing for .com domains, it can move from one platform to another. Usually it's around $15 to $25. GoDaddy, since it's such a big company and they're spending a lot of money on marketing, their prices are also a little bit higher. Now, from my experience, 
a lot of people, they don't mind this because those are actual people. If you are building your own, for example, business website, you have a lot of problems. So the savings of $2 for a whole year are not worth for many people and they will still opt out to go with GoDaddy. But there is a trick how you get to go and save a lot of money. Because you see, what I found out is that if you just go directly searching for Google, go for GoDaddy, they will not automatically apply all the discounts for you because they think that you already know about their brand and you will go and purchase with them anyway. But if you go with someone's promotional link, they know that you are not as sure about buying them, so they will go and throw at you the best discounts possible. So that's why if you use links of creators like me, you can not only support me, but you will automatically save the most amount of money. But be aware, I will get commission for this. So if you don't feel comfortable with this, you can go and still use the Google method. There is no problem with that. But if you want to go and use GoDaddy, for example, for buying hundreds or even thousands of domain at once, having those $2 saved for every single domain can add up quickly. So for those cases, I would definitely not recommend GoDaddy. But if you are a normal person just wanting to build their website or e-commerce store, I personally think from my experience, saving the $2 every single year is not actually worth having the hassle of connecting multiple stuff together. So in this case, I still see why a lot of people go with GoDaddy. It is basically simple. You are paying for the simplicity of it and ease of use. The second very important part when you want to go and build your website is web hosting. Now let's go back to our example. If the domain name is the address of your website, the hosting is the actual house where it lives. So with this, you are basically buying a small portion of a server space so that everybody from around the world can go and access your website 24 seven. Now they have multiple types in here from shared hosting to WordPress hosting to VPS hosting and even dedicated hosting. For 99.5% of people and also for you watching, the share hosting is by far the best choice to go with and it's also the cheapest. Even if you are wanting to go and build a WordPress website, I would highly suggest you to stay away from WordPress hosting and rather go with shared hosting. This is by far the best choice. With this, you are not renting the whole server for yourself, but you are renting a very specific place in there and sharing the resources with other people. This is also considerably cheaper compared to other options and requires little to none actual maintenance from your site. Everything will be done by GoDaddy. Surprisingly, in terms of web hosting speed, they are not actually slow at all. Yes, there are some small companies that can do it way faster, but it would require to have way more technical knowledge and it's not easy and intuitive to use. So that's why a lot of people like to go and stay with those mainstream options because they provide you a lot more opportunities to make it easier for you. Also, in terms of finding resources, I find that it's way better to go with a large domain registrar and web hosting company because they have so much more resources online. So you can go and watch YouTube videos, you can read tutorials, you can find a lot of already answered problems online. And this is something that you cannot do with those custom solutions online. Those are more for technical side of people. But once again, 99.5% of people are going to do just fine with domain from GoDaddy and also shared hosting from GoDaddy. On top of all of this stuff, they will also provide you with some unique stuff they have. They're, for example, very big on their website builders. They're always integrating some AI features in here that will go and make it much easier for you to build the actual website in there. They have also a huge library of templates that are freely available for you to use. So you're definitely not going to be starting with a blank page, which is also a big advantage compared to other people. A very important for domains is also availability to connect it to multiple places. So for example, if you're building a Shopify store, with GoDaddy, you have extremely easy integration, which is just a question of few clicks. So you don't need to worry about some complexities and that you are not technical enough to do it. Believe me, everybody can do it with them. It's made super intuitive. Also with GoDaddy, you will get access to a wide range of professional online tools. 
And those can range from website builders to online stores to even professional emails. What do I mean by those? Well, whenever you buy a domain name, you get to actually go and create an email that's specifically for this. So you don't need to use gmail.com, but you can actually use your domain name as email, which makes it look way more professional. You also have a lot of marketing tools from some e-commerce tools, SEO tools, social media management tools, and all additional stuff. You can also get SSL certificates and lots, lots more. But the main core business of GoDaddy is definitely selling domains, web hosting, and tools that help you build actual website or e-commerce stores. So this is what actually GoDaddy is focusing on. They have built this very big ecosystem where you get to go and do everything under one roof, which saves you a lot of time and makes it easier for you. Now, obviously, you will need to pay a little bit premium for this service and for this convenience. But from my experience, for a lot of people which are not that interested in making websites, they just want to have something that works, having to pay extra few dollars a year compared to the competitors is actually worth it. But there are also people like me that are doing this professionally and we are not the biggest fan of GoDaddy because we know there are also cheaper ways to do it. But if you are a complete beginner, I still think it's a very good choice to go with GoDaddy and you will not mess up with this choice. If you want to see the process, you get to go and watch this video. It will go and explain